Let's kick off this very busy show. Uh, right now, let's talk to uh, Holly Nimmons, who is with us, Executive Director of the Coalition for Music, because you have some big event coming up. Is it do. a special day in Monday, on a Monday? Yes, called Music Monday. It's yeah. always the first Monday of May. It's an annual celebration of the power of music okay. in our lives, especially schools. So this is our 13th year. 13th year. So let's go back in time then. Why did we decide to put together this fantastic day? Well, the coalition promotes the importance of music education for children and youth, and it has great value in a well-rounded education. So we go to celebrate and inform, we show research, and, and we have, uh, you know, we connect people across the country. And this is a great opportunity for people to connect from coast to coast to coast and celebrate music in their mm -hmm. schools and their communities. And we have, like, special Music Monday events happening in classrooms, in cities, and one leading showcase, and that's what's okay. happening here in Ottawa. Well, let's get to that in moments now. Did we decide to choose Mondays because we need to infuse a little bit of happiness? happiness on a Monday? Oh, maybe so. Okay. I wasn't uh, an ED at the time for that one, but it's a good <laughs> choice because yeah. it is, let's get ready for the week. Exactly. Exactly. And a lot of people are, uh, you know, they start their weeks, their work weeks through music. Uh, music's the heartbeat of Canada. Yeah. It's in our offices, our homes, our schools. And I love it how you have a couple of uh, Canadian legends on board too, Mark Jordan and Ian Thomas. We do. So we'll get to that as well in a moment. But So how is this working? Because we're trying to get all of Canada singing at the same time, basically. That's right. And yeah. we're known for, in 2013, Canada sang with Commander Chris Hadfield when mm -hmm. he was in the space station. So we've sung from coast to coast to coast of hundreds and thousands of young Young people have sung at the same time across Canada. So how that happens is uh, you can go to musicmonday.ca, our website, and you will see a link to a live stream mm -hmm. of an event that's happening at the National Arts Centre Theatre. Okay. And you can tune in to see this amazing concert. And then at the same time, we will all sing Sing It Together, yeah. written by Mark Jordan and Ian Thomas. Or you can do an event in your your school or your office. You, could sh you should do something here. Could I just sing in my bathroom by you myself? You could sing in your bathroom. You could. Actually, why, why wouldn't the crew do something? <laughs> Thing right here. We could do, but we're on at 1, though, you know, like 1 p.m. So it'd be tough for us to orchestrate like a sing-along along with you because you're doing this between I 12 know. and 1, right? But it is Music Monday. Okay. So you could beforehand sing with us, and then on uh, Music Monday at 1 o'clock, you could say, just like you did, Happy International Pink, you could say Happy International Mus I, National Music Day. That. We will do that because I am on, obviously, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, yes. so I am going to mention that for sure. Please do. Uh, so tell us about the event, the National Arts Centre. Now, who can come to this, for starters? So um, the the uh, centre is very close to capacity, so I would ask people to uh, call us first. Uh, go to musicmonday.ca to check in and get the contact information. I don't want to disappoint people. And yeah. if you can't get a seat, then you, sh you should watch the live stream, and that will also go through musicmonday.ca. And we have a great lineup. Uh, our co-hosts will be Seamus O'Regan and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from Newfoundland and Misha Brueger Gossman uh, a, a superstar a Canadian opera superstar that sounds like fun it's going to be wonderful we have the Métis fiddle quartet uh, a young Aboriginal francophone singer from Northern Ontario uh, the Ottawa Junior Youth Orchestra a mass children's choir and Mark Jordan will be there singing the song he? he wrote yes oh that's wonderful it's going to be a, a mass choir I mean the whole theater at National Arts Centre will be really full of song. Do you think Mark Jordan might break into uh, Marina Del Rey? <laughs> I don't Living in Marina yeah. Del Rey. He's yeah, it's great a great too. song. I love Mark's He's such hair. an amazing singer-songwriter. And he's married to Amy Skye, who's incredible as well. He is. He is. They're both amazing musicians. How did we get Mark and Ian on board for this? Well, we have a, a lot of um, musicians and people involved in the music industry who are working with the coalition. And uh, we were looking for... Uh, an accomplished songwriter who would write an anthem that could be learned and uh, played by schools across the country and, and all sorts of genres and musicians. So um, Mark came to mind. He and Ian Thomas are multiple award-winning songwriters and they uh, know how to find the song, you know, and they have. They've written an amazing song. Yeah. And it's a tall order because this year we're celebrating Canada's musical heritage. Nice. So that song is Sing for Joy, Sing for Healing, uh, you know, Sing for Those Who Have No Voices. And the song itself includes, you know, throat singers, Métis fiddlers, Indigenous drumming. The the video, the official video, is really quite wonderful. We're actually going to see the video in about oh, a minute. Oh, great. That's great. Yeah. But let's just get a few more details because, as you mentioned, so it's free to get 
into this concert? It is free to get into this concert, and you better you know go to MusicMonday.ca. Just I yeah. don't want to disappoint you because it, it, a lot of people want to see it. So it is free, and um, there are uh, uh, the mayor will be there. Okay. And, uh, we've inv uh, we've invited the Prime Minister. We'd like him you to never show. Know. We would like uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to show up yeah. because um, we saw him at the Junos. But you know, learning music, all those musicians uh, are learning upstream from the award shows. So it's very important it happened okay. for young people in schools. It's very important to keep uh, music alive for sure. Absolutely. Music well, Monday. it's staying alive. It, yeah. Music is alive whether we want it or not. To How we it learn it is really important. And to, to make it even stronger and bigger than ever. Exactly. Music yeah. Monday. CA Monday, May 1st. Thank you very much, Holly, for Thank being you. here. Thank you. And how about we have a look at that amazing video? This is Mark Jordan and Ian Thomas with Sing It Together on Daytime.